Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. And as luck would have it, I just have bad luck. My luck sucks balls. Always. So I've been busy with um, working on night shift tonight and um, I have to take my car in for repairs. Uh, my car went into the panel beaters for the hail damage at last, so it's there. And uh, I'm also working night shift, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go home now, relax, have some sleep. But no, as luck would have it, the f***ing only car we have left has a noise coming from the rear wheel. And I've got this sneaking suspicion it might be the bearings. So instead of resting and getting my night's rest, I have to now waste time fixing something that's not supposed to have been broken. And it's just because I took my car in today and we have the only one car left, now everything will fall apart. I'm so sick and tired of this bullshit. So let's open up this f***ing wheel and see what we can find. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to release the brake now. Then we'll see if we can see anything funny okay i've removed the dust cap so far everything seems fine i'm gonna have to take the drum off and see if there isn't something in there that's sliding and i also need to look at this this bearing so i'm gonna have to take the rest out as well what i do notice first of all is that this nut is loose that's already not a good sign for me so let's see what the bearing looks like. It's as I feared guys, the bearings is f***ed. Look at that, the whole thing is falling apart. We already have bearings out. So that was our problem. Okay guys, so far what I've done is I've taken a hammer and I've hit the bearing out. The one that sits on the inside here. I'm gonna hit the other one out now. And then I'm gonna just uh, clean all of this. And then we're gonna put the brand new bearings in. At least it's a it's a quick job, and at least I don't have to replace the brake the brake shoes. As you can see, there's still quite a lot of um, shoe left in here as well. It's about four moles, about three moles there, so that's enough. So uh, by the next service, I'm gonna need to replace them. What I can do is just uh, adjust the brake shoes up a bit. Okay, so there's all the old stuff, and lucky for me, I've got the brand new bearings here with a new seal, a new split pin. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly put this in. Now remember to put in your bearings. First put in this side. Nice. Other side. And then remember to pack your grease on this one before you put it in. And, uh, yeah. That's all you have to do. First we're going to put in the outer rings. There we go. The first one is in. It's nice and, and flush against the shoulder of the which where it should be seating. I missed a little bit with the punch, but that's uh, something that you have to look look out for. Sometimes you do miss a little bit, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. But it's in. And uh, how do you pack your bearing? Well, you take your bearing and you put a, a lump of grease on your hand and then you basically um, push the grease into your bearing by by hitting it like this and turning it around into your palm and then the grease will go in between the rollers unfortunately I cannot show you because I'm holding the phone in, in my hand I don't have any time to grab a stand and shit so I'm just gonna do it like that that's it the grease is in the bearing that's how the bearing looks when it's greased, when the bearing has been packed. And I must say, it's a messy affair. If you were to tell me, choose something, oil or grease, that I must work with for the rest of my life, I'll choose oil. Okay, so, um, there's the bearing and everything in. And the hub is turning fine. Now I'm just going to put the washer in, put the nut on, put the split pin through. 
and tighten everything down but I, I first need to take the hub off again that seal at the back I need to see if that seal is on properly otherwise dust will go in from the from the back and it will mess up the bearing again so I need to check it out before I cannot leave it like this that's it I got the hub off the seal is nice at the back I put the whole hub back and now I'm tightening this bolt and at the same time you must remember to turn your hub now and then while you're tightening the bolt because you have to seat the two bearings in the right space so you're going to turn the hub tighten the bit turn the hub until you feel that the hub is solidly solidly bitten then you release the spanner just enough for the split pin to come through and then you're in the right position okay i tightened the bolt so much that this wheel doesn't turn even with two hands it doesn't turn but as you can see the split pin hole is covered i cannot get the split pin in so now i'm just going to turn the nut a little bit loose until we can get the split pin in the right place okay the split pin is in but it's a bit long let me see if i can take a side cutter and just cut it off a little bit because remember the dust cover still has to come on well that's it dust cover is on bearings has been changed the wheel is fine i'm gonna put the the tire itself on now and then uh, i'm first gonna drive to work tonight i don't have time to do the other side now but remember what you do on the left you must do on the right so tomorrow morning first thing we'll quickly take the other side off and change that bearing as well and then I'll come back to this side tomorrow morning and just check that everything is fine on this side. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, now that I have calmed down a lot, I can do a re-voice over of what's happening on the scene. Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. You want to know what happened there? That's me getting pissed off. And that's the bearing that's totally seized up. It seized so bad that I cannot even turn the hub. I had to eventually loosen the whole stub axle from the car to get the drum off. And the drum has been broken like that because I went to it with a four pound hammer at one point. So yeah, that thing is totally effed up. And I had to go and buy a brand new set of stub axle and drum and bearings so let's install it and the shit just doesn't stop after driving to town with a, with a lift getting the spares just to find out that new shaft is not the same it doesn't fit the holes are different this new one has holes that's closer together on this side and it's further apart on that side I need this type of shaft. Now I have to get the lift again and go to the f***ing town and get another f***ing shaft. What the f*** is going to be next today? I'm attempting to try and get the shaft out. As you can see, I've hit it extremely hard with a 4 pound hammer. F*** that whole front point, but at least, it, at least it is going. So I want to take this shaft with as a sample. So I'm going to hit it further with a hammer and a punch and try and get the shaft out. And this is what the shaft looks like after I took it out. But you can see there where the bearing gripped. The front one gripped. It looks like the rear one is not too bad. Let's take out the bearing and see what the bearing actually looks like. But I want to take the shaft with as a sample. Yeah, we'll see if we can get that bearing out. And uh, let's take this out and see what it looks like. Well, the inner bearing still looks very, very good. I mean, it's brand new, so it's still good, but obviously I cannot use it again because the the the, where, the other side of the bearing where it runs into is stuck inside the hub. So uh, we're definitely going to use new bearings, but otherwise the bearing doesn't look too bad. And look at all the metal shavings from the damage. So I'm going to take out the inside one now and see what that one looks like. Look at what this front bearing looks like. It totally disintegrated. This is the retainer that holds your bearings in place. Also fucked. Look at your 
bearings. This is the front bearing that totally seized up. This is what happens when you over tighten the bearing. Let's learn this lesson now today. I finally got the correct stub axle for the rear, for there. So uh, let's continue and put this thing together. Okay, part one completed. The new stub axle is in and I tied it down. So the next step for me is going to be to remove this dust cover plate that I messed up so very nicely. Notice I didn't swear this time. I think I've calmed down now. And I'm focusing on what I'm doing. So uh, let's take this plate off next. Okay, what I just quickly did now is I took this brake line and bent it back into place and clipped it in nicely where the brake line is supposed to be. So now I'm going to attempt to take this plate off. Okay, I took a saw blade and I cut the top half of the dust cover plate off just to save me time. So the rest is still there and I just cut it off there and I uh, cut it off there. So the rest of the, of the unit looks fine. So uh, yeah, let's pack the bearings. Okay, I just placed the new hub on to see if the hub fits and if it's the right hub so that we don't have any issues later on. The hub looks good, so uh, now I'm just going to take it off again and adjust the brakes. Okay, I adjusted the brakes down a bit so that the hub can turn freely and not turn too hard. The hub is fitting quite snugly over it and still turning quite loosely. So it shouldn't interfere with my feeling of the nut. Okay, so let's pack the bearings. Okay, this time this seal went in very nicely. It's all flush. It's all flush around the, the seating. The bearing has been packed with grease inside and out. I also put a little grease on the seat. Now I'm going to put some grease on the shaft and then we're going to put the hub on. Okay, as you guys can see, the other bearing is in and the hub is turning quite freely. Now we have to seat the bearing. This is where I f***ed yesterday. So I'm going to put the nut on, turn it tight, take it off, turn the hub and then the advice I was given was turn it and feel that you don't have any play. You shouldn't do this. Once this stops, then you lock it down. I'm going to put this nut back for one simple reason. It's got this hexagon point where you can put the split pin through and it locks the split pin. The new nut that they gave me is a normal flat nut. It doesn't have that. Uh, let's see if I can see the, the new nut is a, is, a, is a normal nut. It's not going to lock the split pin in place and I want it to, to lock the split pin. That's why I'm going to use this nut again. So what I'm doing now is I'm seating this bearing. I'm tightening it up a bit, turning it a bit. Tightening it up and then see, there it's on. Now that is already too tight. So I'm going to seat it a bit, make it nice and tight and then I'm going to totally loosen the nut and then I'm going to do this again until I get to a point where it doesn't have any gap and then I'm going to lock it on. You see yesterday when I was at this point, I had to really turn this hub really hard to make it turn. Look at this now. That's how it's supposed to be. And the nut is just nipped. But there's no more play. That's all you want is you don't want any play on the hub. Now the play, the, the play is gone. So I'm just going to tighten this a little bit to get the split pin through. Okay, there's the completed system. As you can see, it turns quite easily by hand and uh, I'm going to put the wheel on now and then I'm going to take it for a test drive around the block and when we come back we're going to loosen that nut again and reseat it and make sure it is 100% just, just to make sure we don't have any issues tonight you guys see this this is the grease that came out from yesterday's accident or incident that small bearing here in front this is where the grease ended up. 
after it overheated and look at the metal shavings so I'm gonna take the car now for a drive just around the block and then we'll come back and see if this thing is overheating and if it's still seated okay I went around the block with the vehicle and it's still ice cold um, I'm going to jack up the car now take the cap off again and uh, just see if that bearing is still seated perfectly I uh, didn't hear any funny noises um, so far I'm quite happy with it so I just want to um, loosen it again and then uh, you know tighten it back up again now that it has seated and moved into place just want to make sure it's absolutely right oh shit look at this <laughs> okay guys well I'm done with the car it's finished I test drive it wash the car now uh, there it is standing there now and uh, yeah I'm gonna go half past three to pick up the kids at school that's another 25 k's when I come back I'll taste it and just feel what it feels like and if it's then fine then I'm sure I want it but yeah you see they say things come in three but mine comes in about 20s I get a 20 pack when I get shit it just keeps on coming but I hope it's over now so uh, yeah hopefully you learned something I definitely learned something and uh, if you like this channel or you like this video give a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you want to see any more content as fucked up as this and yeah I told the guys from the beginning I'm I'm swearing always I it's part of my language can't help it if you can't handle it then I'm very sorry but that's the way I am especially when I'm pissed off yeah you saw what that plate looks like uh, I was a bit pissed off then as well so but anyway subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more content like this and then uh, <laughs> until the next one guys cheers